fireworks, drum beats, and atmosphere of celebration. Low budget carrier Air Asia spared no expense to show that it has arrived, despite court cases and bitter rivalry against Indigo that came out in the open. It's also a dream come true for its partner in India, the Tata Group, and its chairman, Emeritus Ratan Tata, who has been eyeing the space for long. The usually reclusive Tata made a surprise appearance at the press conference. Tata, who is out to make a double impact with his two alliances with Air Asia and Singapore Airlines, says there is enough room for both. There is an enormous potential for air travel in India, for the people of India, at both ends of the spectrum. We will probably be uh, competing with each other, but as, as uh, enlightened competitors and not as uh, enemies. After its inaugural flight on the Bangalore Goa route, Air Asia has launched flights to other cities like Chennai and Cochin. Although Mumbai and Delhi are not on the radar right now, break even, however, could take more than the four months that the carrier had initially targeted. I think Mumbai may take us some time to come there. There's a huge opportunity, but it's also a market that's very saturated. Mm -hmm. Air traffic is, in, you know, it's congested. So it's probably one that we do at a later time. Air Asia's India Odyssey is not short on flamboyance or style, but it remains to be seen if it can replicate the success in Malaysia in a highly price-sensitive market like India. Going by the price wars that budget carriers have unleashed in the past few weeks, the battle to conquer Indian skies may have just begun. With Chandra R. Srikant, Ritu Singh, ET Now, Mumbai.